today we're going to be covering Google Earth VR. It's a single player and pretty much you can go anywhere in the world and step into other people's 360 pictures while you're flying around. So let's check it out and uh, we'll see what you think. Hi guys, welcome to Google Earth. Uh, one of these is, it's really an amazing program. It, uh, it's spectacular just to kind of even stand here. You can look at the stars and it's really beautiful just kind of looking around at it. And you can hear all the crickets and everything too and watch the sun kind of set down. And little trees everywhere. Anyway, let's get into the game. So we're gonna click. And we're gonna start the game. Hey guys, so welcome to Google Earth. That was the intro. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna skip that. All right, so let's get out of the tutorial here. All right. So we can go pretty much anywhere that we wanna go. Um, I'll hit just go to Neuschwanstein and I'll show you guys a few things about it. So it is a pretty popular place, obviously. Uh, a lot of tourists go down there. So what that just said to me is, hey, you have a 360 image that you can view from this point. So what we want to do, we'll do that after, but uh, how we fly in this game is we just kind of go like this. We can push it and we go forward and we go backwards. You can notice that the picture kind of changed. So we can go backwards and it changed again. Nope, same one. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go sideways. There we go, okay. So, uh, if we want, we can move things around, drag, rotate, obviously, we can do that. Um, but the really cool thing about this I'm going to show you right now is how you see a rendered image right here. Now we can actually step into a picture. Unfortunately, it's not a very good one. Alright, well, let's try a different one. That was crappy. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. Alright, uh, okay, so this one's actually taken right there in the castle. There we go. Now this is what I love about this one, is that you can actually feel like you're standing there. So you can actually go straight down there if you want to stand there. It's kind of neat. But again, these 360 pictures are what really make it stand out. I can tell you I've actually been to this castle before, so it is, uh, it's kind of like going back there again. So you can pretty much fly around. There is a, a comfort mode that I put on just so when you're moving around it's not uh, as jarring. So pictures will pop up as you go. And of course you can go to all the, uh, the famous landmarks and pretty much anywhere else. Okay, 
So, right down here. I'm trying to remember what was here. I think it had like a little patio area. But I don't have to guess because I can just look. And there you go. They're not, of course, entirely perfect pictures. There are some kind of. See, this person here, she's a. I doubt she's a twin. I'm pretty sure it's the two, same person. Alright. So, if we wanted to go somewhere else, say. So, I'm gonna fly up a little bit higher. And what we would do is we could just go ahead and point at the Earth anywhere we wanted to go. So, let's go. Obviously, there's an easier way to do this. Just kind of point wherever you want to go. But let's do this simpler. Okay. So, we can go on a tour if we wanted to, which they're kind of neat, but I'll let you guys do that if you want to come play it. Uh, let's see here. Nature. They did have one on the, uh, the solar eclipse. And let's see here. People have been saving a few things. Alright, so, why don't we go right outside our store? Okay, so, I am currently standing... I would be... right here. Well, obviously inside the building, but if I was somewhere, I would be right here. Here's our parking lot right now. Uh, before we were here, it was a Canada Post. Oh look, they have it up now. Look at that. Okay, so I guess Google came by and did another one. So I'm gonna put them there, and there we are. Look at that. So Google must have come by. Oh, oh, in the summer. So yeah, you can see as if you were standing outside, and uh, as it's minus 30 out right now, this is obviously a lot nicer to look at. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay, so, here's our Tim Hortons, and you can kind of cruise around too, I mean, but on here, this is St. Albert Trail, so here we're just a motoring and a moving, there's a Global Pet Foods, and here we go, so we'll just turn right here, so these I'm guessing were cars, <laughs> rendered images of cars that look nothing like a car. Yeah, so there you go. Fly with us to China. Alright, All right, so I'll go a little bit further here. And yeah, so you can kind of see everything. I mean, you can go up. Sorry, that's probably jarring for a few of you. And you can see all of St. Albert here. So let's go a little bit further. We'll go into Edmonton and see if we can find West Edmonton Mall. Uh, let's see, where are we here? Okay, well, so here's our River Valley. Here we go. See, I'm not too sure what that is. So I'm going to go down and uh, see if we can figure out what that is. Well, wherever it is, it's winter. So I'm guessing some kind of sports arena. Okay, so here's our bridges. I don't know if they have a, a new bridge up here. All right, so you can follow the North Saskatchewan pretty much all the way down if you want. And But anyway, so yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, we'll go one more place and we'll see. Oh, there's the new arena. Here we are. Let's see what they have here. All right, so I'm standing in front of uh, Roger's Place. All right, let's see what they got. And as if I was actually here. Look at that. Obviously, uh, Google's pictures are going to be a lot clearer just because, you know, they have better cameras than most of us do and are wandering around with on the streets of Edmonton. Oh, there's Grant McEwen. Mercer Tavern. Cavern. All right, so let's do one more thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and flip the earth up. So uh, this might get a little bit weird for a few of you. So there you go. And what it does is it puts the earth right in front of you. So right now it's saying that Edmonton, Canada. So you can kind of look around, it shows you where everything is. There's Nate, 
uh, Kingsway, Westmount, Inglewood. So yeah, pretty much everywhere. You can kind of see like all the way down. All right, Sherwood Park. All right, so uh, let's try and find somewhere else to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that menu and we're gonna find somewhere else. Uh, let me see now. So we can go ahead and go to this little search guide. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for somewhere. Why don't we go? Let's go to Nanaimo. That's where Eric is from, so. It's always nice to visit the island, especially around this time. So if we want to go right there, what we're going to do is we're going to push that button. And it's going to bring us down here so we can kind of look above us. The nice thing about this, if you want to change the time of day, you most definitely can. So if you want to have it right to around where it's just about ready to set, you can. You can also have it all the way over here. And right when the sun is coming. Oh, there we go. And there you go. Now it's night. Now it doesn't really change your 360 pictures. It just gives it a really cool look. And obviously the sky doesn't look like that everywhere. But we can go and go down a little bit. Okay, so we are now in Nanaimo, British Columbia. Alright, so I have no idea where we are. I'm thinking that's probably a school. And of course, the, uh, the pictures are not going to be at nighttime. It's just the one picture they happen to have. So we go ahead and put our face next to that bulb. And yes, it's a school. So there you have it. All right, so again, if we want to change that, we just go ahead and click on the sun and we can make it right to the middle of the day again. It's a little bit easier to kind of look around. It looks a little bit more like something. Okay, so let's go down to the ocean. So, I mean, obviously standing right here doesn't look much. It's obviously not what a tree looks like unless you're into some weird looking art. But we have this nice little thing here, so let's put this right in our face. And there we go. So that tree, obviously, that looks kind of weird right now. You can kind of look around. Alright, so uh, I'm sure you guys have your own places that you would like to visit. Uh, I spent hours in this game. I really love it. It's kind of traveling without the actual being able to travel part. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know and come explore wherever you guys want to go. Thanks, see you later.